need this to, to heal ourselves. But it's not just for natives, it's for all races. For 21 years, this powwow has been held at the VA in White City to honor not just Native American veterans, but all veterans. Over the weekend, the public was welcome to watch, but the event was mostly meant for the warriors who have fought for this country. When you're in combat, bullets and bombs don't know the color of the skin. They don't care. They have no compassion, and they are meant for destruction. This is meant for life, to bring people back from that destruction. The Rogue Valley Pow Wow is a one-of-a-kind event, according to David West, a representative of the Southern Oregon Indian Coalition. It was the first gathering in the nation to be held on Veterans Administration grounds, developing into a program meant to help veterans. In the use of the sweat lodge, talking circles, and other treatment modalities from Native American people for the treatment of PTSD, alcoholism, and drug abuse, and also the issues that really very much at the forefront these days is suicide prevention. According to VA officials, Native Americans have the highest per capita enlistment of any ethnicity. Being able to hold a powwow at a VA location means a lot for both sides. The high regard that they have for the warriors, for those that go and serve, um, I think sets a great example. And so um, in that regard, having the powwow here is, is a powerful representation. With people from various tribes coming into the valley for this event, it's a powerful moment in time. And you have to be pure at heart. Veterans share where they served. Those who didn't come home are honored and those that did are given a chance to find solace where they may not have had it before. You can't give more than your life. That's all that you have to give, the deepest that you have to give. And so when they come home and need to begin reliving that life in a different way, that's what this is all about, is helping them to find that way and to help support them and sustain them in that journey. In White City, Miles Luigi, NBC5 News.